everybody and welcome to the Green It Up Club. My name is Carolina and today I'm going to show you how to make your own deodorant. The reason why I like making my own cosmetics, including deodorant, is because they are so much better for your health. Whether we like it or not, there's actually a lot of toxic chemicals in deodorants that you can buy in the store. The most common ones are aluminum and parabens, but actually the list of toxic chemicals is much longer than that. All you need for this recipe is three basic ingredients, arrowroot powder, baking soda, and coconut oil. Optionally, you can use some essential oils. My choice is a geranium a rose oil. I just like the smell. You can use lavender or anything that you like. All right, let's get to it. I have my mixing bowl here. Now I'm gonna mix in all the ingredients together starting with arrowroot powder. This is about two tablespoons of, the, of arrowroot powder. I'm gonna add it all. Next thing, I'm gonna add baking soda. This is a little bit less than two, two tablespoons. I usually like having a little bit less of baking soda than um, arrowroot powder, mostly because it's, it gives this more creamy consistency, more creamy than grainy, but feel free to change the ratio to whatever feels better for you. Now coconut oil. This part is a little tricky because coconut oil tends to solidify in a low temperature and right now it's pretty hot in here so it's kind of liquidy as you can see. But you know, depends on the temperature, depends on the time of the year. I sometimes put more, sometimes less. All right, so I'm mixing all my ingredients together. Let's give it a good stir. The last thing you wanna do is add some essential oil. So as I said, I'm going for a geranium rose. Mmm, it smells great. All right, so I'm mixing it really well. So give it a good stir. The ready product looks like a paste, like a kind of like a creamy paste. Look at this, perfect. And here we go, your DIY deodorant is ready to use. And let me tell you, it's honestly much more effective than any other deodorant I've tried before, any other store-bought deodorant I've tried before. All you need to do right now is just put it in some glass jar and you can store it in your bathroom or anywhere pretty much in a room temperature. I wouldn't put it in the fridge because it's just it's gonna get really hard. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.